Joshua chapter 7, verse 11. Israel has sinned, and they have also transgressed my covenant, and have com which I commanded them. For they have even taken of the cursed thing, and have also stolen and disassembled also. They have put it even among their own stuff. So here's a sin. Something that was stolen. It's a curse. God has warned them against it. Okay. Earlier. Verse 19. And Joshua said to ancient, my son, I give, I pray thee, glory to God. Me, try it again. And Joshua said unto Achan, my son, give, I pray thee, glory to the Lord God of Israel, and make confession unto him. And tell me now what thou hast done. Hide it not from me. Joshua never knew what that abominable cursed thing was. He had no idea what Achan had done. In detail. Now Joshua knew that there had been something that was stolen. There's a, 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 a cursed thing. It was a sin. And God said, I will bring up tribe, family, man. And here is the man. And Joshua is talking to him. He said, I have no idea. Make your confession. Verse 21. When I saw the spoils of a goodly Babylonian garment and 200 shekels of silver and a wedge of gold of 50 shekels weight, I coveted them. Well, that violates one of the Ten Commandments, coveting, which Paul will say in Romans, coveting is lust, lust is coveting, and took them. There's a stolen. And behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent, and the silver under it. Now we're going to look at this word hid. Now here something has been stolen. And the subject that I'm talking about today. It doesn't have to be stolen. What on earth was Achan going to do. With the gold and silver. That he had hid it in the earth. He dug a hole and buried it where his tent is. I'm not sure what he did with the Babylonian garment. Maybe he put that in the ground too. Which would mean every time Israel, because they're on journey, when they pick up and move, he would have to undig it, hide it more, until the next place dig a hole, and bury again. He surely is not going to put this Babylonian garment on whatever it was. And say, look. Now the silver and the gold, he, he could bring it out, but he didn't have that much before, and it would bring a little guilt. He had a guilt. That's why he hid it. And I'm going to talk about us humans. We don't have to steal something, though it could be stolen. We have had things in our life that we have hid. Because we know it's wrong. I'm going to use this. Well, maybe, maybe not you, but maybe there was a time that when I was a little boy, growing up, I had some magazines I should not have had. And I kept them from mom. I didn't want mom to see these. I have come across growing up that in a particular spot, I have found things that belong to my parents that no one was supposed to know. I had a time when, when I first started high school, I went to technical school. I, I The first time I started doing it at the bus stop, I began to smoke cigarettes. I knew my dad's boss drew by at a certain time that morning. I would not smoke or light up a cigarette until I saw him pass.
There are things we do. There are things we have. We know they're wrong. That's why we hide them. And this whole thing, well, you know, what about Christmas and the gifts? You hide the gifts. Let me ask you something. Is there anything God hides from us? I know there's mysteries. But is there anything that is good that God hides? That God would feel guilty about someone finding out? I think it's time that we would make confession to our God and get it right and clean it up. You see, Achan made a confession. Now the problem is Achan did not do the cleaning. I had said there have been times I had hidden things as a boy. And I've come to find out within time some of my things mom got rid of, not me. Mom threw them in the garbage or whatever she did with them. And it's funny, I had one time, whatever reason, I, I had put some crickets in a box and, you know, dressed the crickets so they wouldn't die and I, I put them in, I had like a bookshelf. And it didn't bother me, they, they did their cricketing. It bothered my mom. And when I came home from school the next day, the crickets were gone. And I got a nice little lesson about no crickets in the house. And there have been things in my life, and I'm not going to confess to you, but there have been some things, there have been sin. I should never have done. I should never have had. How about you? And we hid them. We hid them from our parents. We hid them from our spouses. We hid them from our children. We hid it from the boss. There are people today who will go to work and they hide a bottle at work. Oh, they will try to, at lunchtime, go off and have a couple drinks and try to hide it from the boss. There are events of fornication and adultery that people try to hide. There are thefts and coveting and lusting people try to hide. There are people who will look at their computers and they will use their computers for fornication or adultery. They will use their, their computers for embezzlement or theft. They will use their computers for a complete waste of time. There are children who will hide their feelings and what they think about their parents. Especially after correction. Chastisement. That's a sin. When you go in your room, after you're sent to your room, and after being chastised, oh, I wish I was dead. I wish God would get them. I wish God. That's, that's a sin. You ought to thank God that your parents love you enough to correct you. And the Bible says if they correct you, they love you. Hiding and guilt. That's what Achan had. Now, are there some things that we, we can we should hide? I mean, th there are restaurants that have that secret recipe. I've always thought, what if one of those, th let's just say, you know, we got this secret recipe and no one knows the formula and all that. What if, just by chance, just be gross. What if one that one of them ingredients was cockroaches well I would want to know that ingredient what if one of the ingredients was cigar ash I would want to know the ingredient what is it that you are hiding from me
We're coming up to a time. We're, we're, we're going to have a surprise birthday party. We got everything hit. And you got to do a lot of lying for surprise birthday. You got to tell the person things that are not so. I was at a church one time and they, we, they're throwing a surprise party for the pastor. And I tallied little tally marks. How many times I heard people lie and cause a lie to happen for this, this party for the pastor and it was a, a stomachal. You know, Pastor, we're, we're, we're going to go over to this person's house because, you know, he, he, he needs something. Or No, you're going over to this person's house because that's where the party is. That's lie number one. Oh, there's nothing going on. Lie number two. And the thing is, Aiken had guilt that he hid it. I used to shoplift when I was a child. I would steal something. And I would play with that toy secretly. Because that one toy, well, no one should know about it. And when I was done playing, I put it in a box. I put it in the ground, in the earth. Because no one knows. Well, that's no fun. I had a conviction, not that it was wrong, not that it stole, not that I'm not supposed to have it. I had a conviction of guilt that, hey, I did something wrong. Excuse <coughs> me. I wasn't sorry. I was sorry that I don't want anybody to know. I never brought it forth like Aiken. Like I said, Joshua sent messengers, verse 22, they ran into the tent, and behold, it was hidden in the tent, in the tent, in the silver under it. As far as I know right now, I don't have anything hit from anything. Now, I've got events and, and stories of my life that's happened. You know what? It's under the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm not hiding it. God hid it. God has taken those sins and cast them as far as east is from the west. I can't hide something I don't have no more. I can't take my blue Mustang too and go hide it. I don't have it no more. And you got to look at yourself right now. And you got to come to the realization. Joshua means Jehovah saves. Just what Jesus means. Jehovah saves. And you got to realize right now, Jesus is talking to you. He said, make confession. I'm just looking outside. All right. He says, verse 19. Joshua said to Achan, my son, give, I pray thee, the glory to the Lord God of Israel. Make confession unto him, and tell him now what thou hast done, and hide it not from me. And Achan answered Joshua said, indeed I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel. Well, <laughs> you're confessing under, not of your own free will, you are confessing because you were caught. In verse 21, he brings forth what he hid. <clears throat> Friend, maybe you're hiding something. I don't know what. And the thing is, maybe it's time to make confession to the Lord God, to the Father. Maybe you ought to bring this thing out and confess it. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth, I know that's salvation. 
But if that should confess with thy mouth. Now we have a remarkable Bible verse. I want you to see this. First John 1 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Friend, make your confession now. Don't have Joshua get his men and get rid of the stuff. You get rid of it. May the next time the garbage man, if you can put it in the garbage container, I don't know what it is. May the next time the garbage men come, they put into that garbage truck that hidden sin. Maybe it's time that if you can't throw it in the garbage can, maybe it's time for you to forsake it and leave it alone. And walk away. Maybe it's time. That the, the hidden. Of what you have sinned. Against God. And others. Maybe you should just bring it out. I mean you can't take an adultery. And fornicating life. And throw it in the garbage can. <clears throat> you got to forsake it. But whatever your sin is, you got to confess it to God for him to forgive it and cleanse you. Because when we go back to Joshua, twenty one, and move on. In verse 22, so Joshua sent messengers and they ran into the tent. And behold, it was hid in his tent and the silver under it. Whatever it was. Now he said, they hid, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent. They had to unbury it. They took them out in the midst of the tent and brought it into Joshua and into all the children of Israel and laid it them, laid them out before the Lord. Listen, if you don't uncover that hidden thing Christians, brother, sister God will bring it out at the judgment seat of Christ and everybody will see it you are if you are involved in pornography and you don't uncover it and get rid of it no one will know no one will say and you're caught with it in the rapture or your death at the judgment seat of Christ, it'll be brought forth and it'll be for everybody to see. You have an affair, adultery, fornication. You got goods. You're hidden things. Is it a noun, a person, place, or thing? It's time to bring that forth. In 24, he brings all the stuff out and his family. In verse 25, everything is burnt with fire. That's the judgment seat of Christ, Christian. Sin. I'm talking about sin to make a confession. Now, there are Christians in third world countries. They are hiding their relationship with Jesus. They are hiding the ministry with Jesus. They are an underground church. They are hiding from the government. I'm not talking about that. Maybe you got a gift from your wife and you got to put away your hiding from that. And you don't have to lie about it. You just, you just wait for that one special day, to, to her anniversary or your anniversary or her birthday, whatever it is. Okay, that, that's just nothing wrong with that. But I'm talking about when you got to hide things and you got to lie. You got to cover it up. When somebody walk in the Aiken's tent, hey, what's that dirt mound there? Oh, no, nothing. 
I never noticed that you had to, had a hole in your tent. What's that look on your face? Sometimes when you hide things in your life, you've you got a look about you that, you know, they may not know what it is, but they know there's something. How about just now come before God the Father? How about this? If it's a thing, how about getting along with God? Put it in say, God, here it is. Here's, here is the things I'm hiding from you and others. And I'm going to put it in the garbage can. Lord, I don't want to open that garbage can. I want the next time it, that garbage can to be opened and throw garbage in it and the garbage man to take it away. Them cigarettes I used to hide has given me COPD, has given me emphysema. That sin you are hiding will bite you one day. And it will be exposed eventually. Unless you confess it. Unless God forgives you and cleanses you. And to cleanse you is to get rid of it. If it's a person that you're hiding in your life, confess it before God and say, we're done. That's it. Now, there may be consequences. Aiken there, look. The silver, verse 24. The garment, the wedge of gold, his sons, his daughters, his oxen, his asses, his sheep, his, his tent. That sin you're involved with a person may have to be exposed before your family. Before your career. Before your ministry. Now you, now you, you confess it and, and, and you bring it forth to God and you, conf you confess and you bring it before God and there may be consequences. There may be reaping. But don't continue. If it's a place that you're hiding, don't go there no more. Say, Lord, People think I'm, I'm somewhere else and I'm not. You know where I am, Lord. You know where I'm going. Lord, I confess it. I'm not ever going to back. That place can be a physical place and it can be an imaginary place. That place could be adultery, Jesus says. says Whosoever look upon a woman to lust after her in his heart has already committed adultery with her. There's something you may be hiding. And the reason why you are hiding is you know it's wrong. You just don't want to know enough to confess it. Bring it forth to God now and get it out of your life before the judgment seat of Christ shows up. Before Joshua makes it revealed to all the people. I always just wondered about that garment. Did he bury that too? When you got things buried in the ground, it, it's no use, it's no value. And the reason why you are hiding it in your mattress, you are hiding it in the garage, it's in the attic, it's in the back seat of your car, under the seat, it's in your desk drawer that's locked, wherever it is. The reason why you are hiding it 
is because you know you're wrong. Now, there are things we, we can hide in life. There are good things. I'm not talking about the good things. Don't don't text me in the comment. You know, it's not, this is a good thing. Now, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about the things you hide that you don't want people to know. Because down deep in your heart, you know. Down deep in the pages of the scriptures, you know it's a sin. Did Achan know it was a sin? Did he steal it? Did not did not the Bible for him, the, the scriptures, the law, did not the law tell him thou shalt not steal? Did it not say in the, in the law thou shalt not covet? Oh yeah, it did. Did not God tell Israel, do not take, do not have anything to do with the abominable thing? Yes, he did. That's why he hid it. You know, there are some people who don't read their Bible because their Bible reveals what they're hiding. But you will not reveal before God what you are hiding. God tells you within the pages of his Bible, his word. He tells you what's wrong. God says in his book, his book will open it up that you are hiding. Hiding. Genesis chapter 3. Genesis 3 eight, And they heard that the voice of the, voice of the Lord God walking in the cool of the day and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Why did they hide? Because they disobeyed God. Why did Achan hide? Because he disobeyed God. God said, don't take the abominable thing. He took it. God told Adam and Adam was to tell Eve, don't Eat of that fruit. What do they do? They eat the fruit. Are you involved in something where the Bible says don't do? And you're doing it hiding me. You're hiding your sin. You are avoiding. Has your preacher been preaching? Has your Sunday school teacher been teaching us something about that sin you got hidden? Confess it. Bring it forth to God that he can forgive you and cleanse you and get rid of it. Get it out of your life. 